Hey everyone, Jeff Nelson here. Thanks for watching. I recently made a video called Violating Research Ethics, and I discussed the Nutritional Research Foundation's DHA study that was published in 2014. Dr. Furman frequently references this DHA study in his lectures, in his interviews, in articles, to promote the idea that vegans are deficient in DHA. In my video, I discussed the fact that there was very good evidence that despite his public denials, Dr. Furman was involved in this study from beginning to end. Dr. Furman has written a response to my video in a comment on YouTube, and I put a link to his response in the description of this video. He pinned the response to the top of the page, and in his response, Dr. Furman asserts that he had nothing to do with this study other than helping to recruit participants. He says that while his original intent was to be a principal investigator, that he was told by other people involved in the study at the very beginning that he should not be part of the research team. He says he agreed and thought it was the most ethical thing to do, especially because he sells a vegan DHA supplement identical to the one used in the study. Now, how do you determine the truth in a situation like this? Well, one option would be to simply take Dr. Furman at his word and end the discussion right there. Another option would be to look at the facts objectively and then decide if Dr. Furman's explanation makes sense. Every single document I'm about to show you came either from Dr. Furman himself or directly from his website. First, in my video, I showed how at the time the initial study proposal was put on Dr. Furman's website, that was in November of 2011, Dr. Furman was listed as a principal investigator of the study. I showed you how in March of 2012, when the study was well underway, he was listed again as the principal investigator. I showed you an update to the study from October 2012, which said the first phase of the study had been closed and Dr. Furman was still listed as principal investigator. Finally, I showed you Dr. Furman's website from May 16th, 2013, which is no more than three weeks before the study was completed and Dr. Furman was still listed as the principal investigator then. This is an 18 month time span, which is about how long it took the study from start to end. The next screenshot available on the archive is July 1st, 2013, about three weeks after the study was announced as being complete. And it is not until this time that we see that Dr. Furman is no longer listed as one of the researchers on this study. His name had been removed from the list by someone without explanation. In his response to my video, Dr. Furman states that he did not review or evaluate the data while the study was taking place. He says in his comment here that he was blind to the findings until the study was completed. So that means Dr. Furman was not reviewing or evaluating study data or results before June 7th, 2013, which is when the study was announced as being completed. As you can see here in this newsletter from the Nutritional Research Foundation from June 7th, 2013, it states the following. The NRF, that's Dr. Furman's Nutrition Research Foundation, the NRF recently completed its study on omega-3 fatty acids in long-term vegans. Again, Dr. Furman says in his response that he was blind to the findings until the study was completed. So if that's true, then he had no way of knowing any study results or preliminary results or anything prior to about June 7, 2013. However, in December 2012, six months earlier, Dr. Furman sent out an email about the DHA study. In it, Dr. Furman wrote about the study findings. He wrote the following, the initial reports are showing fascinating results and we are anxious to complete the second phase of the study, which will measure the DHA levels once the study participants begin supplementing. You can see Dr. Furman's name at the bottom of this newsletter. This is him writing this email. The question you have to ask yourselves is, how was it possible for Dr. Furman to have known about the fascinating results of this study and the initial reports of the first phase of this study in December of 2012 if he actually was blind to the findings, as he now claims, until June of 2013? Finally, at the end of his response to my video, Dr. Furman states the following. Obviously, I think it's very important that vegans are aware of the potential harm from DHA deficiency, which sometimes can be very severe, and I think the study in question demonstrates this important finding. Well, the DHA study in question did not look at whether the participants experienced any harm. It didn't look at any health parameters at all. All the study did was document the omega-3 levels of 165 self-selected vegans. 
people need to be aware that when Dr. Furman claims that his study demonstrated severe harm or any harm related to DHA levels, he is not accurately representing the study. Okay, thanks for taking the time to watch this video.